Hello everyone, my name is Jay. I am one of the creators of the Tiny Wander and the creator of tinywanderland.com. My story is long and sometimes convoluted and sometimes I like to ramble, so please forgive me. I'm going to try to break up the beginnings of the Tiny Wanderer into a several part series as I know people don't like to listen to long and drawn out stuff nowadays. The beginning of the Tiny Wanderer actually didn't start in Utah, where we are now. It actually started almost a year before that. In the winter of 2019, as COVID was just starting to make its appearance on the map, I was contacted by some of my media contacts from my former uh, broadcast media days asking me to take on a particular assignment. The assignment was uh, a photographer and traveler's dream come true. Essentially, I was going to be tasked with going to 46 national parks, driving over 15,000 miles, 227 nights, and basically recording the GIS positioning of the markers in those parks and around those areas. Again, a dream come true for a traveler like myself. So the first step was to decide if I was actually going to take the position. This decision came around December, January of 2020. After that, it was a non-stop rush of supplies and preparations and logistics, which I was helped with by Dean Cressman, my logistics manager of many, many years. As you know, as 2020 went on, the pandemic got worse and worse. At first, I didn't think this was going to cause a problem for me because I was contracted to go into these places anyway, regardless of whether there were people or not with special permission from the proper uh, designating authorities. However, as you know, any major endeavor such as this would have insurance and liabilities and backing. And so I was to become victim of a bureaucratic nightmare when it came to COVID-19. Shortly after I had received almost all of the supplies for the trip and started to make ready plans to leave Phoenix, Arizona and head to jumping off point for the trip, I was notified that the trip had been postponed due to liability reasons. Again, keep in mind that traveling around during COVID wasn't a smart idea in the first place, but one could probably do it safely if they were not in contact with the general public, which at that time, stay-at-home orders were becoming a norm, so there wasn't likely any chance I was going to run into a bunch of people in these parks as they were being emptied out. The funny thing I want to point out is that now I had all this stuff, and when I say stuff, I mean piles and piles. You couldn't even open my door and nothing to do it with. So when I contacted my handler and asked them, what do I do with all this stuff? Their answer was pretty simple. Take the trip anyway, regardless of the contract, which will come again at another time. Take all the stuff, put it in your SUV, set everything up like you would if you were going on the trip and do a shakedown cruise. That would lead to the next part of my journey into the Tiny Wanderer. So please stay tuned next time to find out more about what happened when you have $15,000 worth of supplies, a canceled contract in the middle of a pandemic, and an SUV full of stuff. Where will I go? What will I see? And what journeys lay ahead? Tune in next time for more. Thank you once again for listening. Feel free to follow me on social media. The Tiny Wanderer and all the adventures can be found at Facebook at facebook.com slash tiny wanderland. Twitter the same, twitter.com slash tiny wanderland at Tiny Wanderland on Instagram. And we also have a YouTube channel, which at the moment does not have a special URL. We need to have 100 subscribers in order to get that. So for now, just find the links in your respective social media and you'll probably find this video. And if you're watching this video, more than likely you've already found it anyway. Again, thank you for watching. God bless and uh, we'll see you next time. I'd say they're here.